It's frustrating. Why aren't the systems changing? Why do we have entire institutions and systems that, that no one in them even really believes in them, yet everybody participates in them? I think a lot of the reason is, well, maybe there's a few reasons. One reason why the change isn't happening already as fast as we, we would like it is simply the habits of the old story, the habits of separation, the habits of control that live on in subtle ways because maybe we're not ready to let go of them. Uh, so they have a certain, the old story has a certain inertia. Another part of that inertia is the institutions that are built on that story that kind of have a life of their own. So even if you want to devote yourself toward ecological healing, you have to make a living. And where's the money? Most of the money is not in ecological healing. Most of the money is in the opposite. So to serve this new story, you, you, you have to fight the institutions of the old story, or, or if not fight, at least you're not gonna get so much support from them. And then I think also there's the level of trauma that we've inherited from the past that keeps us locked down and out of touch with our full capacities um, as creators and unwilling to take certain risks that are necessary um, to really do the work that we're here to do. So there's, to, to uh, move past that barrier, then we get into the realm of, of healing, uh, the realm of, for lack of a better word, uh, uh, spirituality. And we realize that the healing of the planet, the healing of our societies, the healing of communities and personal healing, inner healing, all of these levels are connected and they all draw from uh, a, a new story because that healing can't happen from the approaches of domination and control and I'm going to fix the problem. I'm gonna find the bad thing in me and eliminate that thing. I'm gonna find the bad thing in society and eliminate that. I'm gonna find the pest that's reducing crop yields and eliminate that. I'm gonna find the criminals, the terrorists, like that whole approach to problem solving, I'm gonna control the variables. I'm gonna become the dominator. That, I mean, that fundamental template of, of problem solving reverberates through politics, through science, through medicine, education, and even like personal growth, spirituality, all that is still also the old story. So that, that maybe gives some kind of sense for, for how revolutionary this transition is. Even the methods that we've been using to accomplish the revolution are part of the old world. And that leaves us at a place um, of a momentary stop, a pause, in which we recognize our ignorance and we recognize our helplessness. That pause, that is the empty space from which, into which something new can come that is truly revolutionary. And from that, when that comes in, then, we, then the healing is available to us.